Welcome to Lines to Go installation videos. Today we will be removing and installing brake lines on a 2007 Buick LaCrosse with Lines to Go part number BLB 103 SS. While this particular installation is on a 2007 Buick LaCrosse, this set of lines will also work on the following year, make, and models as shown on your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment end forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. Lines to go lines are made from 304L stainless steel for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Tools required are 10mm, 13mm, 18mm, 19mm sockets and ratchet, 10mm, 12mm, 13mm wrenches, drain pan, a flat blade screwdriver, a floor jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. Start by disconnecting the four brake lines at the master cylinder using a 12mm wrench. Note the location of the lines as the line at the top left of the master cylinder goes to the left front wheel, the line at the bottom left of the master cylinder goes to the right rear wheel, the line at the top right of the master cylinder goes to the right front wheel, and the line at the bottom right of the master cylinder goes to the left rear wheel. Next, raise the vehicle and using a 19mm socket, remove all four wheels. Using a 10mm wrench, remove the fitting at the left front flex line and then remove the line from the vehicle. Using a 10mm wrench, remove the fitting at the right front flex line. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove the right front line from the plastic bracket located inside of the right front wheel well. With the rear of the front subframe supported, use an 18mm socket to remove both rear subframe bolts and lower the rear of the subframe. Disconnect the oxygen sensor electrical connection. Guide in the line over the back of the front subframe, remove the right front line from the vehicle. Using two 13mm wrenches, disconnect the two threaded unions at the left rear of the vehicle. Using a 13mm and a 10mm socket, remove the bolts from the support brackets holding the lines. With the flat blade screwdriver, remove the lines from the plastic support brackets. Remove the front section of the rear lines from the vehicle. Using a 10mm wrench, remove the fitting at the left rear flex line, remove the plastic clips and remove the left rear line from the vehicle. Using a pair of cutters, cut the right rear line on the left side of the rear subframe and remove the forward section from the vehicle. Using a 10mm wrench, remove the fitting at the right rear flex line. Remove the two plastic brackets on top of the rear subframe and pull the line out towards the passenger side of the vehicle. To begin the installation of your lines to go lines, begin by installing the passenger side section of the right front line into place and start the fitting into the flex line by hand. Next, install the left section of the right front line over the subframe. Start the threaded fitting into the top right of the master cylinder. 
Connect the union above the exhaust manifold behind the engine and tighten. Using a 12mm and a 13mm wrench. Using a 12mm wrench, tighten the fitting at the master cylinder. Using a 10mm wrench, tighten the fitting at the right front flex line. Reconnect the oxygen sensor connection. Install the left front line into place and start the fitting at the master cylinder. Start the fitting at the left front flex line and tighten using a 10mm wrench. Using a 12mm wrench, tighten the fitting at the master cylinder. Install the front section of left rear line over the subframe. Start the fitting into the master cylinder. Install the front section of right rear line over the subframe and start the fitting into the master cylinder. Raise the subframe and using an 18mm socket, tighten the rear bolts. Install the center section of left rear line into the plastic brackets and start the threaded union behind the front subframe. Install the rear section of left rear line into position and start the threaded union. Start the threaded fitting at the left rear flex line and tighten using a 10mm wrench. Using a 12mm and a 13mm wrench, tighten the threaded unions at the rear of the front subframe and in front of the rear axle. Please note that although it is not shown on the brake lines in this video, your lines to go brake lines will be color coded for an easy installation, just like is shown on the fuel lines in this image. Using a 12mm wrench, tighten the fitting at the master cylinder. Install the second section of right rear line into the plastic brackets and start the threaded union behind the front subframe. Using a 10mm and a 13mm socket, install the four support brackets holding the lines into place. Install the next section of right rear line into place and start the fitting by hand. Feed the final section of right rear line over the rear subframe and start the threaded union on the left side of the rear subframe. Start the threaded fitting into the right rear flex line and tighten using a 10mm wrench. Using a 12mm and a 13mm wrench, tighten the unions behind the front subframe and the two unions at the left rear axle. Install any remaining plastic brackets, including the two located over the rear subframe. Bleed all four brakes, making sure the reservoir stays topped up. Using a 19mm socket, install all four wheels. This concludes the installation of brake lines on a 2007 Buick LaCrosse with lines to go part number BLB 103 SS. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at linestogo.com, or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two-day shipping. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe button below, and we will see you on our next video.